Hello, I'm Jay Fadden, and thank you for joining us today. I'm in eastern Massachusetts at Stonehill College for the Apostolic Religious Life Symposium. Over 500 people have attended this very important event. So let's find out what's going on. Today is a day to celebrate. Today is a day to recognize the contributions of men and women religious in the United States. When this symposium, when this idea was conceived, it was thought to be and is a day where our college, sponsored by the Congregation of Holy Cross and the Diocese of Fall River, led by Bishop George Coleman, would host an event to invite religious men and women from throughout the United States to reflect and to pray and to celebrate the contributions of religious and men and women to the church in the United States. As consecrated religious, we seek to identify ourselves so intimately with Jesus that through us, the human family will see God made visible in our time and in our place, much as Jesus made visible the invisible God in his time and in his place. Today, we consider the world a global village. International religious congregations now have the extraordinary opportunity to witness to the secular, self-interested nations of the world a unique, unparalleled global sign of the new heaven and the new earth. We lay Catholics have valued the guidance and example of religious men and women expecting them to reflect the teachings of the Catholic Church. But now we are realizing that some religious do not speak for the Church and do not even respect the teaching authority of the Church. Now, fidelity to the mission of love by professed religious rather than numbers is the imperative. But a big change, of course, at least in the developed world, is the prospect of religious life becoming by virtue of low numbers relative to the overall population of the faithful, a token or quaint presence in the normal life of the church as a whole. The ongoing challenge of renewal of religious life today includes this dimension. In arguing for an effective and practical engagement with love as a basis for ongoing renewal in religious life, for the sake both of greater fidelity among professed religious and an increase in vocations. We're very honored that Cardinal Roday from the Vatican was here at this conference, and His Eminence Cardinal O'Malley gave us a little background on Cardinal Roday. The Cardinal uh, is originally uh, from Yugoslavia, Slovenia, Slovenia now, and uh, his family, uh, they were refugees. They went to Austria from there to live in Argentina for many years. Uh, he joined the Vincentian Order, has been involved in pastor work and in teaching, uh, and his latest post is to be the prefect of the Congregation for Consecrated Life. So he is the principal collaborator of our Holy Father in the whole area of religious life. And so for us, it's a great honor and a, an historic moment to have him here representing the Holy Father in this conference with 600 religious reflecting on the wonderful gift of religious life in our church. And we're very, very grateful for your presence here, Your Eminence. Thank you. Thank you, Eminence. Your Eminence, if you could just tell us why it's important that we have a conference like this. In occasion de la del aniversario de 200 años de la fundación. To mark the 200th anniversary of the Archdiocese of Boston and also the 40th anniversary of the Second Vatican Council, it's a very important moment for us to come together to reflect on religious life, to see uh, and to stress the importance of religious life, not just in the Archdiocese, but in the entire church and to take this opportunity to reflect on what has happened in recent history to see how we might uh, correct mistakes that have been made, to improve what we are doing to make religious life uh, ever more vibrant for the sake of the church. 
And Cardinal O'Malley, tell us the role today of religious life in the church. Religious life has always been uh, a very special witness to a radical form of discipleship, of living out the evangelical uh, counsels in the gospel, poverty, chastity, and obedience, living in a special communion in a community life, trying to be ever more available for the service of God's people, a, a sign of uh, the church's firm belief in the resurrection of Jesus Christ and the call to holiness that exists for all of us in the church. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage from the Apostolic Religious Life Symposium here at Stonehill College in Easton, Massachusetts. Now back to This is the Day.